Climate change is a problem that is confronting every citizen of our planet and it requires urgent action. In Australia, for example, this is changing rainfall patterns, reducing water availability and increasing the frequency of severe weather events such as bushfires and storms. Expert scientific evidence confirms that human activity is altering the Earth's climate. Reducing these emissions is crucial in mitigating climate change. The IPCC has recommended that global CO2 emissions be reduced by at least 50% by 2050. The majority of the world's energy-related CO2 emissions come from electricity generation and industry. With global energy demand projected to double by 2050, it is clear that drastic measures must be taken to stabilise CO2 emissions. Fossil fuels, in particular coal, will continue to provide the bulk of the world's energy for the foreseeable future. Carbon capture and storage can reduce emissions from power plants and industry to almost zero. For a major coal producer like Australia, finding ways to reduce carbon emissions from coal is a clear priority. That's why Australia is playing a leading role in the development of carbon capture and storage technology. That's the purpose of the Global CCS Institute. The G8 countries have committed to the development of 20 large-scale CCS projects to be in operation by 2020. The Global CCS Institute was set to help make this happen. It's our aim to see major CCS projects become a reality and for them to contribute to solving one of the greatest challenges that confronts our generations. Large amounts of CO2 are released when fossil fuels are burned at power plants or other industrial processes. This CO2 can be isolated and captured. Once separated, the CO2 is compressed and transported to a suitable geological storage site. These include depleted oil and gas fields or deep saline aquifers. The CO2 is injected into these formations. The cap rock prevents it from returning to the surface and it becomes trapped within the pores of the rock. These sites have securely contained fluids and gases for millions of years and with careful selection, they offer confidence in the integrity of CO2 storage. The Global Carbon Capture and Storage Initiative, which is Australian-led and which has multinational support, is the most promising example that I know of, of trying to address this question head-on and trying to evoke solutions that can make our world a better place for all peoples and most particularly for our children. It deserves our support and the Australian Government deserves congratulation and acclaim for taking this step. We must all rise to this challenge and work together to stabilise our planet's climate before it's too late.